All right, so at this point we have approximately on the current patch uh, knocked out Apocalypse 5 plus on all of the maps, except for Elder Licked this time around. We did Elder Licked, Ap uh, Elder Licked Apocalypse 5 previously. Hey, Hent, welcome. But, uh, but yeah, it's time to get into this. And for Elder Licked Omens, I like... I'm really, I've really been enjoying uh, Siege and Engineer. I think, uh, I think they, they play well together on Elder Licked in particular. Hey, Pit Vipers! So I think we're going to go with that. I think Omen of Leaps is absolutely a requirement here. There's a temptation to go for Omen of Celerity to get things, uh, to get things going. Best way to farm Tainted Essence? Probably, uh... Oh, I remember, Max. I remember. Hello from the U.S. Hello, France. How's it going? Uh, Luis. Best way to farm Tainted Essence is probably to pick relatively easy maps. Maps that you know you have on farm status. And then grab uh, Tainted Bloom and Tainted Harvest. And, uh, and just run them back over and over again. Uh, that would be my recommendation. So let's see. So what else are we doing? I don't know about potion throw. There was, there was some discussion in there about that, but I'm not sure that I'm in on it. I think I definitely am interested. So omen of mercenary training seems very interesting, but I think I like omen of violence, omen of sadism. We do need omen of the wanderer. That that covers us. Are we missing anything else? I wanted a little more movement on my heroes. I was thinking about taking Omen of Swiftness. But now I don't know. I think we're going to go with this. I think this will be our setup for uh, for our Elder Licked run that we're going to do here. And we're going to go Apocalypse 5, which this is going to be a challenge. No, uh, no guaranteed wins uh, are going to be happening here. Also, if you can do that same thing, Luis, with, uh, with a bit of an Apocalypse increase, that's, uh, that's good for business as well. But let's, uh, let's get on into this. Siege, Engineer, Leaps, Violence, Sadism, Wanderer. Let's do the thing. Hopefully we get some good, uh, some good heroes. We're going to make it work no matter what, but it's going to be interesting to see. I'm very curious what the, how the new Elder Licked looks. Yeah, Pit Vipers, I, I hear you for sure. Uh, I think my, my two cents on the matter is that, yeah, Wanderer feels like it feels like they should just have a number of heroes, and that should probably be the same. We have runners, of course, because always runners. But let's uh, let's get to know the cast of characters here. Oh, okay. They have a little bit of tutorialization around extinguished soul vessel. That's interesting. So Salim is our first hero here, a jester, heavy sleeper, bookworm. Okay, so nothing too remarkable there. Magic damage is clearly a little on the higher end. And then we're rocking poison and defensive training. Let's see. Are we? We're three out of four on defensive training, so that's gonna be that's gonna be strong, for sure. So we'll probably pick that up on night two. Hey Jeff, welcome. But uh, this is looking like a poison. We got some volatile reactions in here. Yeah, I like I like this hero as a poison hero. Uh, Luis, I generally don't build walls at all. Or if I build walls, I build them very late. I prefer walls of ballista. <laughs> so Robin here is a fisherman. Looks like we get some opportunism and some attack damage. Elf blood and clumsy. Yeah, Pit Viper, I, I generally I generally agree. So let's see. So what are your your rockin' debuff? I'm liking we do have we do have the makings of a blood mage, but we don't have bodybuilder on this hero. So I think I'm gonna go opportunist stun. Zena, 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 Zena has a lot of mana. 
lot of healing received. Ooh, we could maybe maybe Blood Mage is uh, is in the works here. We do have Blood Mage, no vampirism, bodybuilder. Yeah, don't quite have what we need there. This one is looking like. Yeah, I like I like this for crit wand hand crossbow. Which I I have just been using the letter W to denote that, although W now stands for hand crossbow as well. Because we do have Volatile. We don't have Initiator, which I'm okay with. Okay. And then Lamas here is our final friend. Yeah. Uh, I, I generally skip Catapults and Traps, Lewis. Uh, I think that uh, I think that Ballista are the strongest option. Versatile's really nice here. Short's a little frustrating. Hmm, looking like another Poison Hero. Yeah, no, no blood magic capacity. We technically have... Salim could be blood magic. So why don't we make Lamas our poison? And then that means that Salim can be a blood mage. Yeah, we can go with the lower. We can go with the lower tier ballistas. Um, ballistas do steal a little bit of XP, Lewis. But if you if you pick up defensive training on multiple heroes, they actually generate more XP, which we'll see in this run. Uh, so let's see. So let's get our our weapons and gear uh, handed out. I don't know that I need this AP, and I don't want to lose the XP here. Okay, so let's see. So our stunner is here, which means that this... We didn't have anyone that was rocking momentum. I don't mind giving you that. Our blood mage can take the dagger, and that leaves our poison person with that. I don't think the crystal amulet is all that important, so we will... Uh, we'll do that, and then you have our highest crit, so you will get our crit power amulet. Oh, I did not take accuracy on this run. That is a huge oversight. That's gonna that's gonna sting a little bit. Get uh, get ready for a bit of pain. Uh, that was a that was a mistake. Tactical error. Let's see. We'll put a melee here. Put a melee here. Put our other person here. Okay. First night shouldn't be too bad, but we're gonna have to pick up accuracy on all our heroes, which I generally don't like to do. All right, and we're off to the races. That is why <laughs> I always take accuracy, in case there was any confusion. We can do this with you. Whoops. Let's see, we're gonna do the armor up just to make sure that we get the job done. Okay, we'll do that. I may take a bit of a hit. I mean, do I want to? I think I can pretty safely move back a little bit. No need to no need to be taking any unnecessary hits here. Yeah, it, it is hard. There is a lot of outdated content. I I can't uh I can't disagree with that. Let's see, I am gonna make sure to armor up here, because I think I am sticking in the, the thick of things. At least a little bit. Move back a, t a skosh here. Yeah, 
Yeah, I really, really should not have uh, forgotten accuracy. That may come back to haunt us in a big way. Oh boy. Yeah, we this may be a reset just due to my uh my poor decision making. You wonder why I always take I always take accuracy. getting the accursed out of the way. Let's see, if we move over one, we get a nice big shot out of that. Yeah, the Switch version is not yet updated, which is a, which is a super bummer, I will say. Uh, I, I hope that at some point they uh, they get that sorted out. Okay, we'll do that, and then so we just give you uh, give you a little punch. Oh, which always is five. Is that the is that the case? All right. Yeah, we're we're missing too much here, so. I liked I like our cast of heroes, so I'm a little sad about it. But I may have uh, I may have made a critical error. Probably shouldn't have bothered with that poison. It's a uh, it's a bit of a a waste. Missing, missing your hits feels like uh, about the worst thing in the world. Let's see, can I get a shot on this guy? Nice. Yeah, three scepters and the restart seems like basically a guarantee. I uh, I can't argue with that. Let's see. I think I'm just gonna just gonna go for the double hit there and then armor up here. I think we may be able to make it work as long as we get some good some good rolls on on accuracy in our first uh, our first level ups. I don't think it'll be the end of the world. Assassinate scroll for two mana. Now nah, we're spending our mana a little too fast there. And then you. We'll just do that. Hey, stories. Good to see you from the uh, from YouTube comment fame. Let's see, if I move you like this, this is a little deep, but We're gonna we're gonna go a little deep here for sure. We're 
hoping for some good stuns here. Not uh, not the stuns I was looking for, but... Alright, we're covered on three sides, which means you're relatively safe. And then I'm going to block up this hole so that the runners can't get a surround on us. These guys aren't moving much. Alright. We spent probably a little more mana than I necessarily should have, but getting this S rank on the first turn is is pretty important. Okay, not not great. The accuracy is uh, is hurting us so, so much. Yes, so so Lewis, the, the guides that I put out, the absolute beginner's guides, I would say fully are are applicable. I've I've kind of gone back and while there are some, you know, kind of like minor inconsistencies, for the most part they are they are right on point. Uh and then my intermediate guide, which is a little older, um, admittedly, is uh, is still pretty darn good. I would uh, I would I would venture to say that I'm I'm happy with ninety percent of what it says. You know, there's some things like uh, that are slightly off, but for the most part, yeah, they're very good. I should have walked. I should have walked one step forward on that one for sure. There was no need to be so uh, so precious. Oh, Chris, I'm sorry to hear it. I am over on Twitch. If you would prefer to view to see me over there, um, that's a that's a weird one. I uh, what do you do in YouTube? Is is the question of the moment? All right, I think yeah, I think we'll take a little bit of a hit there, but should be okay. What do you think about killing everything inside the ha haven to get more corpses? Uh, I I try actually I tried that while I was uh, while I was playing around with uh, with trying to get all the monsters to spawn on uh, on a run, and I I think like I get it like I I certainly see the the potential value, but I think it's a little hard to. Uh, to fully justify. Let's see, you have a lot of mana right now. I'm just gonna... <laughs> right now, Salim is like, thank you for not blowing my face off. So you always wanna make sure you get to the end of your nights with having having spent your your mana regen. Otherwise, you're kinda, you're kind of wasting, so. Let's let's check kills really quickly here. I just want to see. I feel like Lamas is doing pretty well. 21 23 22 29. So, Lamas we should get some kills for and Slim uh, and Robin we should get some kills for. Okay. Basically just no kills for Zania. Whoops. Yes, it, be, blood magic is a very uh, demanding path. You need to you need to invest a lot to get that going. So, it is uh, there is some risk to to in, to deciding to go blood magic, but they get very strong. And you needed one more. 
Okay, so we we struggled a lot because we didn't take accuracy, Omen. So that's uh, that's an important reminder. Yeah. Oh yeah. When blood magic gets going, it's a uh, it's a fun one for sure. All right. So let's see. So we're going to upgrade our houses, and then I want to double check this. So we get 18 gold for this. Yeah, we get more gold from, from salvaging corpses, so we should... We should always go for these. To get maximum value back. Let's see... See, this is less than the accuracy that we get from Dexterity, and we're spending an entire level up on it. Feels really bad. I'm looking for healing received over here, more so than anything else. I'll take isolation, though. It's not the worst thing in the world. And then... I like back protection here. Well, Coag would have been nicer. Yeah, that is one thing that our Blood Mage is going to be missing, is they're not going to have that extra bump from coagulation, which is so nice. I don't care too much about Harvester here. Uh, it makes it easier for people to watch on TVs and on mobile, uh, Kib. So I, I crank up the UI to 200% scaling to make it easier to uh, to see on, on mobile, etc. Yeah, Kane. It's it's absolutely a uh, sanguine fuel and bodybuilder. So I wonder if it's bigger. They don't stack. Uh, I mean, I I had one with about about a thousand health at the end of a run, the last run that I did. Uh, what do I want to do here? I think I'm just gonna grab fatality. We'll see if if that plays out. Oh, man. You're at negative two accuracy. I can't say no to an action point, though, unfortunately, which is going to be a little spooky. I'll grab the opportunism. And then over here, I want to get stunning going right off the bat. 12% accuracy I can't say no to, but again, not, not the best. I'm going to roll here, see if we can pick up maybe a lucky multi-hit. Crit power is still good. This looks like a quick reload to me. And then Lamas is our poison person. So let's see. No accuracy there. We got big poison here, which means we can roll for accuracy up here. Of these, I'll take crit, but I don't love it. Yeah, our accuracy is probably going to be the death of us. If I had to guess. Okay, just the one direction. We have our Knight Reward. Pistol's nice. Man, two, two epic level items, and neither of them are particularly interesting to me. The Great Axe, we could make work with the Blood Mage eventually, but it's not great. I may end up rolling that. Now, let's see. Let's take a look in the shop and see what what's going on. I think we do want... Okay, we like... We like, but we don't love the Master's Wand. We love the Archmage's Wand here. That's almost a guaranteed pickup. No Druid Staffs are kind of bumming me out a little bit. So let's see. So if we do that, our wand friend picks this up, which is decent. Our poison friend really needs some love. Let's let's roll our night reward and see what we can get. 
Spear for the Blood Mage isn't bad. It being level zero is kind of a bummer. But we might not get a weapon on our next reroll. That's what I'm that's what I'm pondering right now. I feel bad rolling. So it's a hard sell right now rolling this. Shop. Money is limited. I'd really love to get get our houses more fully fleshed out. How's our mana doing? Mana's good enough. So we don't need a mana well. And we're a little shy. Let's uh let's sell some of our extraneous gear here. Who needs hats, right? Thinking about getting a gold mine going right now, which would mean rolling the shop is definitely a mistake. Yeah, I think we didn't quite get there. We need to sell one more thing. Probably scroll of sword blast is gonna be hard to utilize. Well, if we're not using this pendant, let's sell the pendant. And let's get a let's get a gold mine going. Now let's see. It's going to be ballistas in the corners here. That was not very many ballistas. I I hear ya. I hear ya, Pit Viper. The the OCD part of me is like is raging always. All right, well I think this is the best we can do. So we're going to put our ranged characters on the outside edges here. Going to put our dagger friend and our hammer friend here and here. And it's time for night two. Still a little anemic on, on a... Well, did I not take the night reward? I didn't take the night reward. I'm going to lock in the silver spear. I think we need... Uh... We need to to get when the getting's good. And then I think given the, the wave or the wave setup, we're probably safe to do this. Alright, let's let's get going. Archers though, that's not great to see. See if we can max this out. Ooh, that's not a lot of damage. I think we're gonna need three for this guy. Yep. Trying to get some stuns going here. Hmm. Does that have any legs? Not really. Just put a lot of work in on that guy to not finish him off. One off. Elder Licked Apoc 5 indeed is happening. Okay, let's see. What else do we have going on here? It's not it's not pretty by any stretch of the imagination. All 
Mm, don't really want to tuck myself in there. I'd rather not get hit by that splitter. I'm going to use my, my mobility potion because I put myself in position to get hit by them. All right. We're going to have a hard time with this uh, this particular one. Man, archers are brutal. Oh, boy. Well... This is the this is the first. <laughs> I I forget they already uh, hop up to four action points, which makes this extra extra fun. There is no freaking way. Let's see. I think. Why why can't I see here? Can I just not hold on? No, I can't see their... Do these guys block vision? I don't think they do. What's going on here? Right now I can hit here. I take a step forward and I can't hit here. Do they block vision? The ghost has a shield? But it doesn't say... Where... Where is it? Okay, well, alright. Nonetheless... So my goal here, what I'm trying to do with my three movement points, oh, we're, we're going to have a bad time. If I can get, if I can get into a pocket here, which I probably won't be able to do. So let's see, you have two action points left. This is probably unwise. Yeah, highly recommend it, the bit power. Highly, highly recommended. Uh, it's, a, it's a beautiful game and they did a great job with it. Try and decide how I get out now. The answer is I probably don't. We can get some transfers in though. Well, one transfer in. Hate that that didn't quite zap that one. That was unfortunate. And let's see, you now have three action points to spend. Okay, we'll see if everybody survives. I suspect we're gonna take some big hits here. Yeah, I without without dexterity, I think this uh, I think this run is doomed, and I don't want to spend a lot of time on it if that's the case. We'll see. Yeah, our, our mobility on this team is also suffering. I want I want to get up here for a death ray. We have uh, we have quite the death ray opportunity, but I don't think it's happening.
Not with only four movement, thanks to our wounds. Uh... And then we're at three here, which means we wouldn't be able to do the second jump. Don't think that works either. I think we have to straight retreat on this one. I'd rather not hit a kindled if I can avoid it. I gotta put some damage in on the splitters. Alright, I'm just doing this for spreading stuns. There's no uh There's no other reason for it. Okay, well, we're not, we're not quite dead yet. we can, if we take a step forward here, we can at least snare the splitter in hopes that the ballistas start doing some work. But yeah, I'm used to being a lot more rich on night one. I've, uh, I've forgotten the pain that is Elder Licked. How much movement do you have? All right, I think we're fine. Yeah, one, one HP is always, uh, always the bane of my existence. I'm going to do that just so I can get a little bit more into position. But yeah, we're... This, this guy is hurting. Jeez. Dear Ballistas, you're, uh... I've seen... I've seen better. Alright, we're spending some mana. That's happening. Yeah, Apocalypse Six really doesn't have a lot of uh, a lot of excitement to it, unfortunately. But you know, the Apocalypse Five is still very entertaining, so I I can't complain too much. Let's see, we don't have a lot of other magic weapons, so I think I'm just gonna do this this way. Yeah, archers is really not what you want to see on uh, on night number two here. Mm, don't really love those options. Oh, my camera's frozen. Give me a second here. Thank you. Una Memento. The, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's going on with that. Ever since I moved over to the new rig, I've been having some USB issues. There we go. We're back. Thank you for pointing it out. We back. Let's see. You can come up here. Two movement, I don't really want to go too deep here. Yeah, I think I think we just need to back off here. Even though it, it comes at a 
a great cost of efficiency. We're definitely going to have the potential for some panic problems. The, P the two Ps. I'm just, I'm spending mana here. Ooh. Bad. Bad result there. All right, let's get you. And then we'll take one, two, and then probably one, two. I think it's, we said three for that. Uh, it was four. All right. Swing and a miss. Should have moved forward to uh, to mitigate my accuracy penalty there a bit, but. Three momentumists with boom? Oh, Eeyore, that sounds, uh, that sounds like absolutely divine. <laughs> Come on, I still have a I still have a throw here. I think I can safely put it in on that guy. Love to see that stun. That means we can probably stay here pretty safely. Stun on them is really nice. Trying to decide if we if we decide to go deep here. I don't think we do. I was gonna say this. Th this compromises our position a little bit, but that's okay. We can we can still retreat. Okay. Ooh. The the wall damage is always painful. Okay, yeah, you're out of mana. So let's focus you on killing Kindled because only you can kill Kindled. And you apparently can't kill Kindled. All right, noted. Oh my gosh. The breakpoints are... Uh are brutal at the moment. Not terrible. Gonna put you out as a bit of a distraction and then see if we can just get some lucky stuns here. What was I saying about accuracy not being important? <laughs> well, everything about this turn for this hero seems to have gone about as poorly as it could. Don't like having them out th that far, but I'm feeling a little like we don't have a, t a lot of options. We're, we're pretty near the end here, but I'm trying to keep the, the momentum going, as it were. 
Good stuff there. Okay, looks like we will get the A rank. Let me check, let me check kills again here really quickly. Next round is really where things are going to start to get a little better for us. 47 kills on our opportunist, 49, 49. Xania is killing it. Yeah, so let's give as many kills as we can to our blood mage and our opportunist. The misses are absolutely driving me up the wall and around the corner. But what doesn't kill us, right? A corpse mountain is a big pick up there. Wow. All right. Let's see what our night reward is potentially here. Oh man, there's a tome in our in our midst. Everybody got the level ups. So let me let me lock in defensive training while I'm thinking about it. Okay, now our blood mage gets a big health up if we think we can take it. A 12 accuracy. It's setting us up well for the future, so I think I will and then Big healing received. Our blood mage is going to take a while to get operational, but maybe when they do, good things will happen. Okay, we need accuracy desperately. This is this is why you take the accuracy omen. I have not seen accuracy in all of my rolling. Do that to see if I can get our, us out of the hole, but it's it's not great. Propagation could work here. So could crit power. Let's take the crit. Take the crit and the crit power. I feel like we need some movement in our lives, so I'm going to take nimbleness here. Yeah, you didn't have Avid either. Zero accuracy. And there's the multi-hit on our poison person. Oh, it stings. It stings. Going into this night with zero accuracy is nightmare fuel. I'll pick up the XP gain, but we're, uh, we're in a bad way for sure. Now, how much gold do we get for these? 20 gold, but we also get materials. I don't think we push back on this night. Yeah, with only these three enemies, I think we want our ballistas to do good work, so we we avoid the pushback right now. And then do we get items, or do we get... Do we get materials? Hmm. Let's see what our shop looks like. Offhand crossbow ain't it. Man, the struggle is real. I think we need items. We might have to take the Hunter's Cape to get some accuracy. I hate to tank our crit, though. 
Gosh, just throwing the Slayer's armor at us like it's going out of style. His pants are pretty decent for future Blood Mage shenanigans. We need the Power Staff. We have a lot of reroll targets and not a lot of good stuff. 21 is probably worth... Selling? Everybody has to be able to hold their own, which with Kindled in the mix is going to be a little bit tricky. Yikes. Can take that for selling, I think. The Warlock Greaves are only useful if we actually come up with a way to apply poison. <laughs> Which at the moment is not looking great. Alright, let's let's dole out the goodies and see where we where we end up. Ranged and magic damage. Put that there for now. A little bit of crit is okay. I'll put this here. I think I'm gonna put the tome here on you. You can take those pants. You need accuracy on your pants. You can take those pants. I can't I can't wear these pants with no accuracy right now. Lamas is gonna have a hard time soloing their side, uh, for sure. Since we're also not gonna be buying warp gates. Those ballistas are going to have to do some work, that's for sure. And if they do, we'll be in good shape. Uh, unfortunately, well, I'm going to roll this once. We uh, we really need to find a poison staff or something. The adamantium sword wouldn't be terrible. We're getting the hookup on momentum stuff. But still no poison to save our lives. Second reroll feels too expensive. I think I'm gonna have to invest in economy now and hope that we just uh, we just make it through. I think I want a scavenger camp. I might want a house. I think a house, the houses almost pay for themselves, so I'm gonna grab two houses. Then I'm gonna get a scavenger camp going and... That may be it for now. I think we're going to have a bad time here. That's my uh, my prediction. We could definitely run into some bad uh, sensor placement. Also, our mana is tragically low, and there's no way at this point for us to really fix that, except we can buy a potion. Which we will do. And then who do we think... I don't think mana is too important on this night. But I think I'll give it to Lamas, because I think Lamas is going to be missing a lot of shots. I don't think we get anything for selling those pants. So, all right. Here we go, night number three. Terrible placement here. 
We may be able to ignore that one depending on what uh, what happens. Ideally, we want to kill as few enemies as possible and leave our crossbows to do most of the work. we have to largely ignore everything that's going on over here to get this this sorted out which feels pretty bad hey QWERTY how goes it good gravy Not pretty. Yeah, I think I think we may uh, we may have a reroll on our hands, or a a restart, I should say. I don't I don't think this run is working for us, and I think it is. Uh, entirely the domain of of me not picking up accuracy which is uh quite the quite the uh, the recommendation for picking up the dexterity perk someone was asking me why i value it so highly and uh this is a, a pretty good example of why I'm doing okay. I, I feel bad that I botched the omen selection on this particular run. Uh, feels like I... Uh, which one is doesn't have defensive training? Is it Lamas? No. It's you over here. It's Zania, right? Yeah, this okay. Ooh, that's an interesting idea, Eeyore. I like that concept. Hold on, how do I... What a different stunning entrance makes, right? And do that and block up that this gap here? Well, do I... I have enough action points. Let me see if I can at least put in some damage on that. Okay. So we get rid of you. That creates an isolated target here. Our damage is so lacking. Uh, it is astounding to me. Okay, just trying to set up as many ballista kills as I can. I think over here... Probably gonna lose the S rank. We'll see what the what the level ups look like after this. But 
These guys have found a perfect little, uh, little alcove where we have no ballista coverage. So that's going to be a bit frustrating. Pit Viper, I've always wanted, uh, I, I think the base game should, should give you, uh, heroes to draft from. That's always been my, my belief. All right, I'll do that. I'm gonna see, see how well or not well this is working. Yeah, these, these ballistas aren't hitting for, for anything. Maybe... Maybe the resistance omen helps a lot more than I thought it did. All right, let's see. So you need to come here and do this. Take a step back. I want to get here and get this sorted so that hopefully our ballista can start doing some some decent work. So if I move into this alcove, maybe I can get some stuns. Okay, and then we'll block that up again. Swear by the block omen on this map. Talk to me more about uh, about that. I'm curious. I don't think I've ever taken the block omen. Okay, I'm trying to soften these guys up as much as humanly possible, but I do think I need to make a run for, for this. Now you have nine movement. Yeah, you'll be able to get there and get rid of them next turn. Okay, we're gonna break out the, the semi-large guns. I'm gonna focus on taking out armored guys who I've already done a bit of chip damage to. Ah, you skipped Wanderer. That's interesting. It, it makes this particular night pretty challenging if you uh, if you don't take Wanderer. Super annoying there. Super annoying there too. Okay, we do that. Take a step back, get some more stuns going. That uh, didn't work out quite the way I wanted it to. Okay, we shouldn't be taking a hit this turn at the very least. Probably shouldn't have gotten rid of those corpse piles, but We will see. Okay, we're gonna try and let these guys get taken out by the ballista for defensive training purposes. You have to be kidding me. I had nine previously. What the heck happened? I checked this. I checked this just before, didn't I? I swear I did. How odd. Well, either way, we, we dragged them back from the brink, so. Is it is it great? No. Is it is it okay? Sure. Do 
was taking out the the kindled because if they end up getting targeted by ballista it's not going to be great for us hopefully this this guy doesn't get soloed by this guy i i couldn't get away from him lovely Yeah, that's a lot closer than I would like it to be. The the S rank is what it is. Wow, and we only have just enough AP. Are we going to die to the poison? 10 for one turn? No, you okay. You will survive. That was not a misclick. I actually wanted to stun them, but when that didn't work out, I was uh, a bit saddened. All right. Can't actually get any more enemies from here, so we'll just do that. These ones over here aren't in range of a ballista, so I'm just going to take them out. And then I will I will tank this guy in hopes that the ballista does its job. And then next turn is going to be a big recovery turn. Oops, I, th I think I was saving that guy, wasn't I? Okay, we missed out on this guy. those two guys stunned, I think it's okay. Get that guy sorted. All right. Actually, if you're not even making it that far in, right? Let's just... Well... Alright, let's let's take this guy out. I don't want him coming and hitting this barricade and it causing some type of kerfuffle. Alright, that's good enough. So I'm doing this because this is essentially three kills for all of my heroes except for one. So it's better to let the, the ballistas do the job. Okay, so bit of a bit of a rocky go there for sure. I think we definitely need to push back the fog this turn. Maybe not. Maybe we can get away with not doing it. All right, let's see. So Salim just gets the single level up. That puts you at bodybuilder. All right, that at least will get your damage up. See, we're not getting accuracy. Like, I, I don't know what to say, but it's like, if you don't pick up accuracy, it can be very difficult to, uh, to get anything done here. Um, nimbleness, probably better than bodybuilder right now. Well, we get 11% damage. I'll take that. We need to hit a little harder. There's some accuracy, but the, the number of level ups that could be spent more opportunely in the early game is uh, staggering. Grab nimbleness and contamination. Big opportunism. I don't think I can afford all that, uh, all of that accuracy. I need to spend some level ups on some actually useful stuff. Xania. 
Accuracy is good, not great. Ballista's, uh, Ballista's all day long, Zekar. Right, we just need a little bit of damage. We weren't hitting very hard there. We, we did manage to conserve some mana, so we got that going for us. Take first blood here. And then our poison person. Big accuracy bump is important. We take poison when we see poison. And we take propagation bounces when we take when we see propagation bounces. It's gonna be nimbleness and I think thrifty, because we're we're struggling a little on mana. Okay, I already looked at that. Let's see. Mountain definitely gets torn down. I think I am pushing back fog here. No, maybe not. I want my ballistas getting a lot of action early. So I think I'm not going to push back the fog. Take the item for that. And then take the materials from that one. Are you inside my base? I never remember where the base edge is. We'll just destroy that one and then we'll see. It was outside. So we could have left that one, unfortunately. This one is in. This one is in. Uh, so I have a long list in the Discord Pit Viper of games that I am I am considering playing. Uh, but off the top of my head, I'm excited about Spell Rogue when that comes out. Let's see, I think we're going to need to get at least one more of our houses upgraded. So we can get some healing done. Looks good. Let's see what we got from this. God, all the momentum gear in the world. I, I can't even begin to express how annoying that is. Ooh. These are some these are some stinky uh stinky night rewards. This one is horrifically bad, so we'll roll this for sure. Dagger with poison on it might be better than the nothing that we have right now. Yeah, Spellrogue has had a couple of play tests uh, as as of late. Um, it I I've played it a few times uh, on the channel and and on the side. Okay, we'll grab that. I think twenty one is too good to pass up, even though. I can afford the Warlock Reeves now, but it's not great. We desperately... Hi, my my name is Alden. Mayamo Alden, and I desperately need... A Poison Staff. Holy cow. Is such a thing so hard to imagine? Does anyone else have high enough accuracy that I can think about doing that? Well, yeah, I can do that. That trade works. Okay, so let's see. So I'm going to put down another ballista here. And we're going to start getting some seasoned operators on the corners where it is likely that they will be effective. A little bit of repairing here and there, just to give ourselves a little bit of extra buffer. Now, I'm going to roll, but... 
Wow. The lack of poison staffs is really uh, starting to starting to hurt. Uh, this power staff is worth picking up, I think. I like the stun power staff when you can get it. I'm a bit beside myself on what I do. I sold the book. I probably shouldn't have done that. Tome of Secrets with two movement on it. Might almost be worth. I'm going to roll one more time. All right. Ooh. Eye patch is good too, for sure. Now you're not trash all of a sudden. Put the eye patch here. Yeah, get get your accuracy up as well. And then Poison user is gonna try to be the soloer here, I think. You're gonna be at range on this corner. You're gonna be over here. You're gonna be over here. All right. I don't love it, but we're gonna try to make it work. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start you here and start you like here so that you can cover kind of these three. So let's see how we do. Okay, we, we got... The RNG there was really unfortunate. Uh, having all of the lit brazers over here is feeling a little spooky. We got one here and one here. And this corner is bad too. Oh boy. Actually not the best. I think we're we're moderately safe here. I need that to go away so that hopefully the the ballistas can do some work. Oh my gosh. Risking it for the biscuit. I'm going into this corner here. Can we talk about the fact that everything is taking two hits to kill? That's nerve wracking. Oof. Really would have liked this miss sensor to, uh, to die. I'm going to do this so that we hopefully get some vision on things. We have no skill range on our opportunist either. Should have uh, should have been using contaminate. Lakeberg, I think you'll find Lakeberg five easier than Elder Lake three. That's my uh, that's my prediction. Uh, the zero, but congrats. First, the mage spawns like that. Can't even reach this guy, which means we're probably going to lose this ballista. Well, wait, hold on. Maybe we can get... Let's 
not terrible. I think we gotta we gotta defend up. I think I'm gonna take it take some hits that I don't want to take here. Counting on the ballistas to take these out, I think. What are you? You're a warrior. We can kite you a little bit. Hey, bear. Ah, uh, you know, it's not out of the question. Um, I, uh, I feel like the appetite might be there. People seem to be enjoying it. It's been a while since I've streamed a game twice a week. If this uh, if this run is any indication, though, I should uh, I should definitely not be. Uh, I've made some terrible decisions so far this run. Uh, <laughs> should have uh, should have used that more effectively. Let's see, you're We're rocking Siege, Engineering, Leaps, Violence, Sadism, and Wanderer. I forgot to pick up Dexterity, and I am uh, I am suffering greatly for my mistake. Uh, I don't I don't know what I was thinking. Uh, I can't I can't even express how important uh, Dexterity is. We're uh, we're hurting for certain as a result. We're not getting this warrior. Uh, we're not getting this warrior taken care of for sure. Let's see, so we can at least run back. So now I need you to come over here because the the int intention was always for the poison guy to solo. Can I jump over this guy? Okay, I can. So let's move to here. We don't lose that much, and I, I think it's probably worth. Okay, what is my plan here? I think we just gotta get out there. Block up this. Okay. Well, I don't love what I'm seeing, but we might we might be somewhat okay. That's frustrating. Good old bats. I'm doing you dirty. Okay, what can we get back in to do with our, our future blood mage? Good enough. Ah, uh, zero. Yeah, that is uh, that is the big money 
if you uh, if you can make it happen, that's uh, that is very good for business. Okay, let's let's make sure we have enough options over here. Okay, if I if I snare up these three front guys, I think that mostly protects. You need to take out the bat, because the bat is not going to take itself out. Wait, why can't I undo my move? Oh, there we go. Ooh, I love that. Maybe I can maybe I can make some propagation shenanigans work here. Not not bad there. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, not bad, not bad. That went decently. Just brace yourself up. Now over here. I think I need to loop around. This this bat uh, is actually. Hold on. Maybe we can I even get to this bat? Yeah. Okay. I can do it that way. Okay. Come stand here. We're gonna have some folks leak through, but. I really don't want to lose that ballista up there. Ooh, 22 HP. Okay. Let's proc opportunism. Now, is this doing more damage? Or is this doing more damage? They're relatively close, so... I'm gonna go for the stun here. Okay, now our bat problem over here is significant. As is our elite bat problem over here. Ooh, all right. You have several hit points left. Unfortunate. Let's see what we can do with this crew here. I think that's good enough. Okay, trying to protect that ballista may be in vain. Um... I think we come all the way across and we, we do bat duty. Well, if every if every hits a crit, I didn't need to spend so much mana there. Meteor ring with a mage build is uh stronger than uh than I necessarily think it is. I enjoyed it on the blood mage, it was kind of fun. Okay, blood mage, or future blood mage, I should say. All right, that was the best we could do. Ooh. 
Taking some hits. We're gonna need some mana wells moving forward. What did you just destroy? I don't think you destroyed anything too important. Okay, you're dead. No panic there. Our, our opportunist continues to have the worst day of their life, I feel like. Now you still have some actions. Hold on, we can we have a we have a leap over target here, I think. Yeah, we can conserve some movement there. Oh, I didn't mean to put all four into that. That was a misclick. All right, well. Actually, hold on. Do you still have the magic orb? You do. Uh, I'm gonna try to just get some, get some money stuns here and maybe spread them around a little bit. Oh yeah, cursed and twisted can be uh, can be mighty nasty. All right, so let's see. So one, two, three, one, two. Okay, I'm gonna stay standing here to protect the ballista a little bit. And then nothing left to do here, unfortunately, except armor up. Oh, poison mage, poison mage. Radioactive poison mage. Oh, such a terrible target. I thought that connected through. Well, now we're out of mana. Okay, it's not pretty. <laughs> no one ever accused this of being pretty, but. I think we'll still be able to get A rank and I think we're probably not gonna lose any ballistas either. So I can't be too upset about that. Hold on, you still have four action points. God, the... The unpleasantness. Okay, we can't go any further with that. I don't think anybody's gonna bleed through over there and you're out of you're out of movement. Very concerned that we're just not gonna have enough. Okay, not bad. This guy's moving, so we do need the front guy we need to take out. That guy can wait. Okay. Gonna do an accuracy debuff on this guy. And this guy. Okay.
Hey, uh, Mr. Uh, Lord Low. Uh, apologies for the, the slow reply. I got lost in the mix. So the Blood Mage build is built around... Do, do, do. The perk Blood Mage, which basically means that you start casting with your mana rather than casting with your health. And uh, it is it is slow to get going, and then uh, pretty awesome once uh, once it gets cooking. All right, we need we need a mana well. <laughs> That's all I have to say on that. Did we just get no corpses? No, they don't spawn until after this. Okay. There's my babies. All right. Okay, this is absolutely, we got to push back. They're getting a little too close for comfort. So let's see. Put a worker in there. Put a worker in there. We got a corpse mountain, which we'll grab. I like where we're getting the big wave from. We have kind of like an extra layer of defenses here. So it's not bad. Yeah, one-handed sword momentum is a very strong build, Scarecrow, for sure. Yeah, a lot of health, a lot of health regen. You also want to pick up body builder because you'll get big numbers out of the damage there. So two level ups. I don't think there's any reason not to go... Blood Magic Vampire. We already have decent healing received, so I think it's going to be okay. Accuracy remains a little low. Don't mind picking up the isolation, and I'll take some more healing received. That's going to allow us to, to cast more effectively. Let's see. Over here, pick up the opportunism when we see it. Five accuracy. Hate to take that there. Longer weapons is fantastic. That's going to be a great pickup for us. Can't say no to big crit power. 12 accuracy is enough. Very disappointing there. I think we grab Runic Gift here. And then our Poison Person. Blue Opportunism is probably too hard to pass up. And a little bit of movement is pretty good. And then we'll grab Runic Gift. Okay, let's see. Let's see what's on offer here. New spear for our for our blood mage is going to be a good thing. Skill range on the holy ring is interesting. I might grab that. We're already too far into into our other opportunism build to take that. I think the multi hit chest. What, what else are we getting off this? Healing received, accuracy, block, and health. We're not getting a lot out of the extra stats on this one. That's that's my, my main complaint. Let's see what's available in the store before we commit to anything. I like the idea of the hand crossbow. I like the idea of the... Oh, that's a stability potion, not an energy potion. The leather cape is surprisingly good here. Yeah, there's a lot we have on offer. Which uh, which offhand are you referring to, the zero? Did I miss an offhand? The hand crossbow in the store? It wasn't it just a, a regular offhand crossbow? Oh yeah, no, this one. Ah, skill range, crit and mana. Yeah, that's pretty nice actually. Hmm. 
Let's see. So we need, I said we needed a mana well. I stick by that. Let's, let's get that before we get too far into, into things. Get you healed up. I'm going to be spending a worker on the mana. I may, I may need two mana wells here. Yeah, unfortunately, I think we're gonna we're gonna double up. Hard to get away with not taking mana. Then I think I am gonna get my last worker upgrade to two, and I'll probably grab one more item. Okay, back to this. Resistance reduction, propagation damage, immunity. The poison damage is the only reason that I would take that. The spear, I think, is a good get. This one I'm going to roll. Power staff with movement on his... Ooh, pants with two AP on him. Hot diggity daffodils. Yeah, I can't say no to that. That's why you always save your rerolls for this. See, like, this is good, but this is not transformatively good. These are presumably all bad, unfortunately. The Mithril Pistol of them is... Ah, uh, what if... What if we traded the dagger on our Blood Mage for a two-handed sword? Kind of like that. I like the accuracy on that one. Take the poison there. Uh, the skill range. Don't like tanking my armor down, but. And then of these three, we take this one. All right, let's, let's dole out some goodies here. So our poison. So I liked this on our poison user for sure. Then you need the skill range, which means this can, ah, uh, we're losing a bit of stun chance, but that's, I think that's okay. I want our Blood Mage to have all the AP in the world. Because they're, they're going to be a heavy carry during this uh, this night, is my expectation. This is not the ring for you. This is the ring for you. That's the ring for you. Okay, we get to sell all that stuff. Oh, what are these pants? Minor accuracy down. Salim all of a sudden has 53% accuracy. <laughs> okay, I guess I fixed that glitch, didn't I? Maybe I should spread the love around a little bit. Uh, probably not, though. Now, our poison user. Plus two to plus three isn't isn't that big a a transition. The hand crossbow on Zena, I think, is good. Even though she didn't pick up any multi hit this time around, I think it's still worth. And then I think, I think I want another scavenger's camp. We got to get, we got to get going on getting our ballistas built. Now let's see, this ballista over here took some damage. We're getting it from the same sides, which means we can keep investing in in more. We'll, we'll eventually have to pivot, which is going to hurt a little bit. Like, we're going to have to start building up uh, our, our defenses on other sides. But for now, I think we're going to we're going to enjoy this while it lasts. 
Now you're gonna be you're gonna be over here to start. You're gonna stick here. And you're gonna be here. Hopefully no runners in the mix, and then the lack of energy potions is getting a little distressing, but hold on, let's consolidate. It's been interesting having assassinate there. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna give that up, but I am gonna put that and I'll leave the movement potion there. And I'll put that there. Okay. I don't know. I don't know. We're we're gonna go for it though. Have I forgotten anything? I don't think so. All right, night number five is always a bit of a bear.